Hi there, this is Angelie, and I thought I'd come on and share a few things with you guys. The other day I was around the house doing my duties, and the Lord Jesus was ministering to me by the Holy Spirit. And I was thinking about the Titanic because I've had many dreams where I was on the Titanic and it was sinking. And um, I was among a very small amount of people that um, that were saved. And it was horrific. I can remember the feeling of sheer horror from the anxiety of whether I would survive or not. Um, and so the character from the movie, Cal, who thought that he could buy his way onto a lifeboat, was brought up. And I remember hearing that you cannot buy salvation. It's a gift. And so many people think that they can buy their way into heaven. They can buy their way through their works. And this topic of money is a very sensitive one, but I have some scriptures to read for you. Um, The first one is Proverbs 10, verse 2. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21 states, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So as we see, our treasure should be in heaven. It should be in Jesus Christ. Um, The next scripture is Ezekiel 17, verse 19. It states, They will throw their silver into the streets, and their gold will be like refuse. Their silver and their gold will not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They will not satisfy their souls, nor fill their stomachs, because it became their stumbling block of iniquity. Okay, guys, the day is coming leaning up to the mark of the beast, where people are going to take it so that they may buy and sell. And we can see that scripture in Revelation 13, but particularly let's read Revelation 13, verse 16 through 18. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, that and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it's the number of man. His number is 666. So as we can see, people are going to take the mark of the beast and condemn themselves to hell. They're going to be taking it to try to save themselves. But money is not going to save you on the day of judgment. Okay, the next scripture I'm going to read is Acts chapter 8, verses 14 and 24. Now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them, who when they had come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for as yet he had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also that anyone on whom I lay hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, Your money perished with you because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this your wickedness and pray, God, if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. Then Simon answered and said, Pray, 
to the Lord for me that none of the things which you have spoken may come upon me. Okay, and I have one more scripture to read for you. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So as you see, it is by grace that we are saved. We can't buy our way through our works or neither with money. So uh, I just wanted to share this picture with you. Um, The other day I sent my phone in to get... um, a refund because the phone had a crack in it and um, I had a protection plan for it and they sent me an email and this is what it says here's your $53.37 USD gift card and under that you can see um, money and now you tell me what is the difference they are both a piece of paper. And people kill for this piece of paper. People rape, murder, pillage for things that will not be able to save you on the day of judgment. And let us be wise and not foolish virgins. And it's uh, very important to understand about money. People say, well, now this is the money that we use. I mean, it's still valid. I mean, the mo- this is the way that... Um, where you're using currency right now, um, but like my wife just said, um, this is just a piece of paper with ink printed on it. It's just like this uh, note here. On the actual money, if you look on the left-hand side, it says, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. So this is just a note. I mean, we know what a note is. A note is a piece of paper (laughs) written on it. So, I mean, this money is supposed to be backed by gold and silver, but um, it's it's not really backed by gold and silver um, to, the, to the degree that you think because it's, it's just paper. And um, so we just, we just need to understand that um, even though we call this cash right now, we are actually right now living in a cashless society um, because this is just a piece of paper. And um, what's coming is the mark of the beast. So... I mean, we just encourage everyone to seek the Lord Jesus. Do not make money your God. It will not save you. It, it, it's not going to do anything for you. Many people are going to stand before God and have to answer because of uh, the love of money, the love of a piece of paper with ink printed on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, we just ask that you think about what you've heard here today and that you consider Jesus Christ if you have not been saved if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior um, he died for you and he rose again so that you may live with him eternally and not be in um, the wrath of God eternally so I'm going to read one more scripture that's Romans 10 Verses 9 and 13, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, believe is an action word. If you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For if, for the scripture says, whoever believes, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Won't you call on the name of the Lord today? And we ask that the Lord Jesus, that you be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.